Hi, I'm Max Lowry, and I studied Theodore Martin Hesburgh. I read his autobiography called God, Country, Notre Dame, and he goes by Father Hesburgh because he's a Catholic priest. He was born on May 25, 1917, in Syracuse, New York, and at the age of six, he knew he wanted to be a priest. So, in 1934, he enrolled in the University of Notre Dame as a freshman to become a priest of the Holy Cross Order there. The other priests there saw his potential and sent him to Rome for eight years to study. He was sent back after three because of the Nazis that had taken over. In 1943, he was finally ordained a priest of the Holy Cross Order here in America and began to teach theology um, at the theology department at Notre Dame. In 1952, he became president of the university at the age of only 35. In 1957, he joined the Civil Rights Commission because he uh, had a lot of sympathy towards African Americans who were abused, treated unfairly, and especially um, people wouldn't let them vote for various reasons. Um, some character traits that I saw in him were he was a great patriot, he showed lots of humility, and he was such a hard worker. I chose patriot because he counseled over 500 veterans, four presidents, and also was on the Civil Rights Commission for about 15 years. I chose humility because he never boasted or bragged about the amazing accomplishments that he had in his life, and also he said all he wanted to be remembered as was a priest. I chose work ethic because he was an extremely hard worker. Um, he wrote a 590 page essay for his doctorate in just five months um, by working 17 hours a day. He also raised Notre Dame's endowment from six million to over half a billion. Also. Um, awards and honors that he had in his life were the Theodore M. Hesburgh Library at the campus is named after him and he was also a U.S. ambassador he was awarded the Presidential, of Me Presidential Medal of Freedom and he also has 150 honorary degrees he stepped down as president of the university in 1987 and died in 2015 many people remember him as one of the most influential people to ever live and I 100% recommend this book it is one of the best books I've ever read, and he's such a great writer, and uh, it showed me how much I could accomplish in the amount of time I was given. Okay. That's it.